all right guys uh, welcome back to another video uh, in this video uh, we'll be seeing about how can we use mongodb with python uh, and integrating the mongodb in python uh, via the module pymongo so uh, this is a series where i'll be teaching you about the basics of mongodb with python on the basic procedures that is update uh, create, uh, creating collections that is a uh, table within mongodb creating databases and plotting databases and collections etc so the first initial step which is required is you need to install mongodb on your desktop system so this is how you do go to the official web page of mongodb and click over here so you uh, get get up the uh, you get the um, set of file you install it um, uh, it is uh, a prerequisite because it consists of uh, various uh, methods uh, for running it locally so it is necessary without it you can't run so after doing it you need to install it via pip so the command for installing pymongo is pip install pymongo so after doing that you have successfully installed um, pymongo on your system including python so um, the first um, first i'll be showing you how to create a, a mongo client so uh, this is a very crucial step and um, a, a brief about a mongo is that uh, it can be uh, used for no sql systems uh, that is for large and wide range of applications uh, where you can use a no sql systems so yeah uh, on uh, for example you can use it for web pages uh, uh, desktop applications and etc so the structure of uh, mongodb is different from the rest of the um, databases like sql mysql etc so this is what you will be learning in this entire series mm, how to create database how to create collections updating uh, the records in the collections and deleting and limiting um, providing user queries and etc so the first video in this first video i'll be showing you about how to create a, a mongo client and how can we know that what uh, number of databases are available in the uh, mongo client so this is the code for it so this uh, is the way you can install pi mongo on your python system and the way of importing is from pi mongo import mongo client so this is a sub module within the Mo pi mongo module and uh, for that you need to create an object so this is an object of uh, pi sorry mongo client the demo client so this is referring to the mongo client and uh, you need to create a local host and a port so this is these are the two parameters which are default and i'll just show you the documentation of um pi mongo it is really provided well and uh, so this is where you can learn more and <clears throat> uh, figure out sorry figure out yourself that uh, how it can work this is a documentation of pi mongo see so let's begin so about it so these are two parameters default and you need to provide it whenever you create a mongo client so this is local host and this is the port number and the way mongodb works is that you can't create a database until and unless you have something within it so for example if i take sql systems sql databases you can just create a database and uh, show it normally but uh, when it comes to mongodb you need to um, create database provide a collection which is a table uh, for mongodb and provide record that is data within that collection then only you can uh, create a database so initially there are only three um, default or uh, kind of built-in uh, uh, database within 
mongodb but you can't use that they are like just dummy so this is the mongo client and mongo client object you call it over here uh, by using the local host and the default port and uh, print my so this uh, this is an inbuilt function which will provide you the number of databases available in within the mongo client so i'll just run it so you can see these are the uh, default some kind of uh, databases i guess provided you will always get even if you don't have any uh, database made within mongodb you will get this by default so this is the initial stage of how you can initiate and uh, the mongo client in mongodb and how you can integrate python with mongodb so uh, this is it for the first video guys if you have any concerns queries and questions about uh, PyMongo or in general MongoDB you can comment down below and uh, the next video will be about how can you create a database a collection and provide input within the database so thanks for, uh, thanks for watching this video guys and stay tuned for the next